Um, as, as we highlighted a lot of great football in week two, we saw the Titans come back in Seattle. Uh, as we also mentioned, shout out to Julio and Travis Kelsey for breaking some records. Uh, there was there was a negative record that was set yesterday as well. Um, Zach Wilson, he threw interceptions on his first two pass attempts yesterday. Yeah. He threw four within his first 10 attempts. And he's the first quarterback to do so since another Jet legend, Sam Darnold, and another Jet le- legend before him, Mark Sanchez. Wait, wait okay, hold on. because I get- <laughs> There are four quarterbacks who have thrown four picks within their first 10 attempts. Three of them are Jets. That's a damn shame. And, I, you know, listen, I'm the jury is not out on this kid. <laughs> okay, and again, he does play for the Jets. However... I was not sold on Zach Wilson being the number two pick. And, you know, the fact that, you know, there was so much big talk surrounding Zach Wilson and him being the number two pick, and he's the guy, if you can't get Trevor Lawrence, you get Zach Wilson, you're going to be good. I wasn't buying all of that, you know. And, again, I always go back, you know, and it sucks. I Like, I hate to to look at it in this way, but it is kind of true. You know, when you you see these teams – in the in 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 the, in the lower tier conferences in college football, and they go out and they do amazing things when they're playing against that level of competition, but when they go up against the SEC or the Pac-10 or or one of the the, the bigger conferences, they get their boot smoked, and this is another example of it. Now, again, the jury's not out. It's only two games. However, when you got six interceptions in your first two games. That's not a good start. So, listen, man, the Jets, y'all, y'all might have, y'all might have messed this thing up again. And the, you, you don't have, you don't even have the other legend like you mentioned, Sam Darnold anymore, who's actually got the, the the Panthers at two and zero right now on the season, one game beating you guys. Open and, and Sam actually looked good yesterday against the Saints as well. He played well. I think the bigger issue with the Jets is the lack of structure and foundation there, and that's why you see Sam doing well in Carolina, where Carolina actually has some pieces, they have a solid coaching staff, and they're trending in the right direction. Absolutely. I didn't mind if the Jets felt Zach was their guy, so be it. Because personally, the way you felt about Zach is the way I felt. I thought it was a little overhyped. I thought we were basing it off one really big season for him at BYU, where, as you mentioned, he wasn't playing top 25 talent night in, night out. But I also wasn't high on the 49ers taking Trey Lance either. The biggest difference, though, is that the Niners have a system in place so that they're going to slowly work Trey Lance in and then allow all that role potential to turn into something. Yeah. The Jets are just throwing Zach Wilson out there. If we questioned 100 NFL fans, not and I'm not talking to diehards, just some casuals, some diehards, some people who just tune in because the game's on, they probably couldn't name you one offensive player on the Jets. So you took the kid number two, the O-line was already shaky. You don't have the weapons. You don't have a running back. Remember, last year, your best running back was Frank Gore. So you don't have a running back. Which is crazy because he was in, what, year 16, 17? <laughs> right. Like? right. You, don't, you don't have any of those things in place, and now you're throwing the young guy into the, into the fire and saying, hey, go figure it out. To me, I think they're going to damage the kid. It's, it's going to be a similar situation to Sam Darnold where the kid is going to be damaged goods by year three because he's going to be so traumatized from the things that are happening on the field. Let's not forget, it was only two years ago when Sam Darnold said, I'm, I, I'm seeing ghosts out there when he was playing the Patriots. So I don't think if this keeps up for Zach Wilson, we, he going to be saying the same thing in about two years. And then what, they're going to have the number two pick again and draft the wrong quarterback again? They'll be, well, they'll have the, they'll have the number two pick and this time they'll take Tom Brady's son. They'll, 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 <laughs> but Tom will still be in the league. Tom will yeah, still I'm be in the league. Brady's still going to be around then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you're absolutely right. You know, again, even with the Trey Lance thing, you know, with him, he may not be ready, maybe a little bit raw still, but you're bringing him into a a situation where he has a top five defense who can get you shorter possessions. He has a good offensive line. I mean, they had a that just running game, you know, a couple of the most stars just got hurt. And uh, Sermon is also hurt right now. It but, don't even matter. They only had like four running back, and they still getting hundred plus yards from the, from yeah, the running. It don't even matter. They got receivers out there. They got Kittle, who's who's probably the, the second best tight end in football. You know what I mean? So he's he's going into a situation. Same thing with Mac Jones. Mac Jones is going into a situation where you have the goat coach, who's 
always going to put you in the right uh, situation. As long as you can manage that game, you have a, a, a solid defense. You know, they have a good offensive line. They, you know, obviously the, the, the wide receivers could be a little bit better. Aguilar's all right. But they could be a little bit better. But he's in a, a better situation to succeed than Zach Wilson is with the Jets because they were missing so many pieces that it's like, all right, yeah, we may have got the guy at quarterback that we need, but it's going to be a long first, second, maybe even third season if we don't get some other pieces around him, if we don't get guys that can protect him, if we don't get a good running game. Um, there's, there's no receivers out there. I mean, I know they drafted um, – and then the, the kid in the late in the uh in, in the first, I forget oh, I'm drawing a blank on his name right now. The young kid, the wide receiver just drafted Elijah Moore. There you go. But mm-hmm. you know, what are you gonna do? Like he can't he he can't help you, you know what I'm saying, build a build a a, a, a mansion yeah. on, on water. You yeah, know? it's 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 like I said, it's a it's a bad situation for the young man. Um and, and two things, and then we'll move on from it too, because it, it it was something that even shocked me when I thought about it. You know, like we hear all this talk about um, Justin Fields in Chicago, right? Now, personally, even though I'm not a Bears fan, I like what they're doing. Again, they're not rushing the kid along. This is our future. So why are we going to just, again, rush him along to take hits and make bad decisions? Let him learn. That's what Andy Dalton's there. Andy Dalton is the crash test dummy. Let let Aaron Donald sack. I mean, but it's, that's what he's there for. You know what I'm saying? Let them guys hit Andy Dalton. Don't let them be hitting on our young guy who, who we want to be here for the next 10 to 12 years, right? Who's the crash test dummy for the Jets? The Jets don't even have a veteran backup no. on their team. Zach Wilson, he is the crash test dummy. Right. <laughs> and that's what I'm saying. Like, who is his safety net? Who is the veteran? Historically in the NFL, when you draft a young quarterback, there's always a vet that you see next to the young guy who's going over the plays with him, looking at the tablet, saying, look, this is what you were missing right here. This is what you need to be reading. You got a rookie quarterback. His backup quarterback, I think, is only two years into the league. Yeah. So you got the blind leading the blind in that situation. It's all wrong for the Jets. And like I said, I hope they don't damage the kid. But six interceptions through the first two weeks, you still got another game with the Patriots. It could get ugly. They still got two games with Buffalo. It could get very ugly for this team. Question. Cam Newton is available. Should the Jets bring in Cam Newton? And should Cam Newton even want to go to the Jets if they call him? If I'm Cam, I'm saying no. I'm not that desperate for a job, to be honest. Um, again, because even with Cam, who are my weapons? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you get Cam Newton, not only is he probably your best quarterback, again, because Zach Wilson's so so young, he's probably your best running back. Yeah. So, you know, next thing you know, you're expecting Cam to throw the ball 25 times and run it another 15. So if I'm Cam, no. If I'm the Jets, I think it's something that if you were in the preseason, you would explore. But I think right now you wouldn't do it again because at this point you've already said, here are the keys, Zach Wilson, and yeah. we're living and dying with you. And so to backpedal now and bring in a vet, that could hurt him more than help him. Now, there's one, there's one other guy. Obviously, he's got a little bit of trouble, so he's not playing right now, Deshaun Watson. If you're the Jets, do you try to make a push for Deshaun Watson? At this point, I don't think you do. I think they wanted to, um, but obviously it would have had to include that pick that turned out to be Zach Wilson. And if I'm the Texans, I don't know. I, I'm not going to say I wouldn't take Zach Wilson, but I would also want to know how many other number one picks are you throwing in for me? Because we're still rebuilding and Zach Wilson doesn't turn us into a contender. Like realistically right now, even though three years from now he might be, but right now is Zach Wilson even better than Tyrod Taylor? No. Right. So if I'm taking Zach, I'm in, I'm still going to need probably three or four more number one picks, you know, and, and the price tag might be too high. And then on top of that, Deshaun has the no trade clause. So if Deshaun was saying no to going to Philly, he damn sure ain't going to the Jets. Yeah. And I, yeah, that's right. He does have the no trade clause. So we tried. <laughs> he yeah. said, we tried. We tried to find you guys, somebody. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, 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 unless you want to call Cap. That's about it. And at this point, I, you know, you know, with bringing, bringing, I wouldn't even want that for Cap, man. Yeah, exactly. I don't want that for Cap. If I'm Cap, just keep working with our youth, Cap. Yeah, yeah, Cap. You deserve better than that, yeah. Cap. You deserve better than you. You don't need that stress in your life. Exactly. You got a beautiful woman. You're doing great things in the community. 
You you don't need you don't need that baggage that comes with being a Jets quarterback. This is Dion Grant from the New York Giants Super Bowl champ, and you're watching Real Fans Real Talk. Real talk, we as real as you thought. 